I'll be showing you step by step how to password protect pages on your Shopify store. So to do so, we'll be using a completely free app, which makes this process extremely simple. I'll leave a link for this in the description below. It's called Sammy B2B Lock. So I'll click install here and let's go through this process step by step. If you're comfortable with the permissions, let's click install. And from there, it's going to open up the app dashboard. So right now there's no locks created. So I wanna click get started on the homepage. So for this lock name, I'm gonna call this page lock number one. For the lock resources, I can then select where I want this to apply, whether that's the entire website, specific products, or specific pages. I could also protect a URL and just input that there. But for this video, I'm going to protect all the About Us pages on the store. Now you can select one, but here I have several, so I'm gonna select them all here. And just to show you before I do it, if I head to the Shopify store, like on the About Us page, I can see it's currently there and not password protected. So let's head back to the app here. I'm going to scroll down. From there, I can select who can see or cannot access the content. So I get several options. First, it could be logged in users can see it, only selected customers, or visitors with a passcode. I'm gonna go visitors with a passcode, and I'm gonna set the passcode to be one, two, three, four, five. Not the most secure one, but I'm gonna enter that one here. And I can grant access for one hour. And the passcode message is saying, you have been given the passcode by the owner. And so just like that, I can head down to the bottom, hit save, and I've created my first lock. The only thing I need to do now is go and enable the app embed, and it's gonna open up the Shopify theme editor. So if I click on go to theme settings, app embeds here, it's gonna open up my Shopify theme editor as mentioned, and I can see it's enabled on the left-hand side. You could also get to this by opening up your Shopify theme and heading to app embeds on the left-hand side menu here. To finalize this change, I'll hit save in the top right. Let's head back to the preview of my store here, and I'll click on about us now. And what I can see is you have been given the passcode by the owner. So this is my message. If I enter in 444, which is not the passcode, it's not gonna work. But if I enter in one, two, three, four, click submit, and that was the wrong one. It's actually one, two, three, four, five. I'll hit submit again, and I can see the page is now available to me. Shopify store owners need to know where every dollar they spent is going. And that's where our sponsor of today's video comes in, and it's ProfitCalc, the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. All you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real-time calculations, letting you make smarter business decisions. It has tons of different details, analytics, and metrics, so you can really understand your store's performance in a very concise and easy to understand manner. It syncs seamlessly with all your different ad accounts from Facebook, Google, Snapchat, Bing, Pinterest, and TikTok, as well as many cost of goods sold options. I'll leave a link in the description below to access the Shopify app listing directly. If you search for it in the Shopify app store as well, just look for this logo here and there's a 15 day free trial so you can test drive everything for yourself. So make sure you check out the link in the description below and start your free 15 day trial. So just like that, I've set up password protection for any page I want to on my Shopify store. If this video helped at all, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below or if you have any questions, leave a comment. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.